Hi there, welcome to Elm Colors, I'm Erica. Welcome to fall season. <laughs> For me, fall starts on the first day of September and goes all the way through to the end of November. Uh, I am so excited to color in all of my fall and Halloween books this year. I have a few more than I did last year. I have some pages where I went through and actually colored in some of them, but then I bought a whole bunch of new ones, so um, I don't have as many <laughs> finished pages. Uh, in those. So um, I've also been tagged by Jamie from Jamie's Coloring Love um, to count how many pumpkins I've colored. And I'm going to restrict it to my fall and Halloween books, plus just a couple of other ones that I know for sure I have um, pumpkins colored in. And um, I'm probably going to end up coloring in those through the rest of the fall season anyway, so they kind of count kind of. Um, but yeah, uh, this tag was created by uh, Megan over at Disney Meg's Coloring. And uh, it's just kind of fun, just kind of a fun thing to go through your books and see how many, see how many pumpkins you can, you colored. Um, it's not, I don't have nearly as many as, as the other ladies, but I thought that I would just check and see how many I have. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so first off, I have... Um, the fall book from Rita Berman. I do not have any more finished pages in here than I did from last year. And I don't believe that I have any pumpkin pages colored in this, but I'll just kind of give you a quick, quick peek at what I did get done on these. Um, I might have to zoom you out a little bit when we get to the next book, but yeah, these ones, these ones do have, there's, there are pumpkins in here to color. I just haven't colored any of them yet for some reason. Um, yeah, so maybe that's something I can add to my list uh, for this this season. So that is the fall book, because I can't pronounce that, <laughs> by Rita Berman. All right, next we have um, Lacey Sunshine's Hocus Pocus Coloring Book. I'm going to grab my post-it note, because I think there might be one in here. Um, I did flag several to color last year in this book, and I just didn't get back to this one. Um, it's such a cute book. But I'm going to go ahead and count that because that's a big like pumpkin cauldron. So we're going to count that. So that's a one. Um, and I don't think I've colored anything else in this. This is such a cute book, though. I really like it. There's lots of pumpkins <laughs> in here that I could have colored. I just didn't get back to this one. So there's that one. Um, I have this book. I know there's no pumpkins in here, but this is Dark Beauty. Um by Crook Crook, I think is the company's name. Um, and I have just started a couple with a alcohol marker base, but I never went back to finish them. They creeped me out a lot <laughs> and I just wasn't sure. I was trying to go for like a weird color palette too on the ones that I started. So I have that one, which I like it. I think it's really cool, um, but I just wasn't sure how to keep coloring it. And the same for this next one that I started um, is this one here. And they're both really, really neat. I just have to go back and add in shading and stuff. But um, yeah, so that's maybe something I can work on. I like this book, even though it's creepy, but it's it's still beautiful. So I like it because of that. It's not it's not too scary for me. Um, I have Modern Witches here. I don't believe I might have colored one page in this. Yeah, I did this one which is pretty cute. This is a new one from last year. I like, I like her. She's a cute witch. Um, yeah, there are a couple in this book that I would like to color too, but I'm not sure. There's going to be lots of witches. Um, I have an abundance of witch books that I did not realize I had. I think it's like every time I see a witch book, I, I just need to buy it, but I don't know why I keep buying them because I can't color in all of these darn books. Um, in, um, Witches from Coco Wyo. This is one of my favorite books that they've ever put out. It's just adorable. Lots of pumpkins in this one. And I do believe I've colored, oh, I've got, I've got several. So I've got three here. I love this page. I had so much fun doing it. I tried to limit myself to like all orange tones. Um, just had so much fun. When I first did it, I was like, oh gosh, I ruined it. But then I started coloring. I was like, no, this is working. And then I have this really cool bronze stickles kind of everywhere. And I uh, just love it. It was really fun to do. 
Uh, and then I do have one more colored in here, but I don't think it's in there's a pumpkin. So I've got this one done too. I thought she was really pretty as well. Um, so yeah, there's those two. I want to color more in this one for sure. This is, like I said, it's one of my favorite books that Coco Wild has ever put out. It's just so cute. Okay, so now we're going to start my Deborah Muller <laughs> stack. I went crazy with uh, Deborah Muller last year for some reason. And I'm still, because I just didn't have any of her books. And so I still am buying... <laughs> And buying books. Uh, so first up is Fall Friends. And I do have um, something colored in here. I have several started. See, I could really count this as colored, but it's not finished. This page still needs um, some shading done and a background done. Ugh, I want to count them, <laughs> but I'm not going to. Um... Yeah, I know that I'm not going to have anywhere near as many as some people colored, but I, that's okay. This book is so cute. Um, there's another one I started, another one I started, another one I started. This is the only one I finished. Oh, and there's a pumpkin. Yay! Um, so yeah, this was, a, this was a cute one. Another one I started. I just kind of went on a kick and just started coloring everything. Um, okay, and then Fall Vibes. I think I have one finished in here too, but I don't believe she has a pumpkin. I don't think. But this one, I really like this one because of some of the closer up, like, um, portraits. Yeah, so here's that one. So pretty. Really like that. But unfortunately, no pumpkins in that book. Uh, fall fairies. I don't think I colored anything in this. I had something flagged to color and I just didn't get back to it. Um, but there's some really cute ones in here too. Really like this book. Yeah, I wonder if I do, like if I come back next year and look and see how many pumpkins I've colored, if I'm just going to be like focused on pumpkins this year. <laughs> That's going to be silly. Maybe I'll keep track of how many pumpkins I color during the season. Uh, anyway, so this is Ghost Girl. This is a new book, so there's no um, pages done in this yet. And I feel like the paper is thinner than these ones. Yeah, it absolutely is. So I don't know if she changed her paper or Amazon changed their paper for these books, but it's a little upsetting because I really liked the paper in the other books, and these ones are pretty thin. Um, so I'm hoping that I can still make them pretty. Uh, but I got this one because um, one of my lovely, talented friends on Instagram, Phaedra, she did some pages out of this book, and I was just like, ah, I need it. So, yeah. If you want to give her a follow, follow I'll put her her um, Instagram name on the screen because she's just so talented. Okay, so next one is Halloween Sweets and Pinups. This is another new one that I got just recently. Um, I wasn't sure about this. I couldn't find a flip through anywhere. So if you guys want a full flip through of this book, let me know, and I'll post it. Um, it's not it's not bad, uh, but I don't know. It's not my favorite of hers. But I think it'll work. It'll work. So yeah, so that is Halloween Sweets and Pinups. Uh, the next one is Victorian Witches. This is another new one. This one I just thought with the outfits and the, the witches themselves were just beautiful. So yeah, very excited to color stuff in here. I really like that. really like that one with the skull and the hat. Yeah, that's cute. I like, I like both of these very much. That's a cute one. Um, so yeah, so that's Victorian Witches. And then I also got Chubby Witches because I'm a little chubby. So I wanted some representation in my coloring pages, right? Um, and these witches are definitely curvy. So it's, it's nice to see some of that, but uh, again, since it's new, I don't have any finished pages in here. Um, and I'm excited to color in here. More pumpkins. Yeah. I'm just going to be looking for pumpkins now when I'm picking out pages. <laughs> All right. So this one was new last year, but I think it was right at the end of the season and I didn't get anything colored in it. So this one's Magical Witches. This is another really cute one, I think. 
think this is one of her older ones, um, but I like it. I really like this witch. I know that she's got like that scary nose and everything, but I just think that's a cool page. Um, I like that there's a mix of scary and cute witches. Um, but the line work in this one's a lot thinner than some of the other books. So I'm wondering if this is an older, an older book for her. Uh, Zodiac Witches. Again, I had things tagged to color, but I never got back to them. Um, but these are cute too. And these ones you could color year round. Like these definitely don't have to just be for Halloween. But typically when I see witches, I just automatically go to Halloween. But yeah, with the Zodiac, you could do one witch a month and be good. So that's Zodiac Witches. And then last but not least is Witch's Ball. So this is another one that was new at the end of the season last year. Um, it's another one where I just thought the outfits were interesting. Um, yeah. And the witches are all so different from each other. So I thought that was pretty cool too. So yeah, that's a fun one. Um, just as a reminder, if you see anything in any of these that you want like full flip throughs of, just let me know and I can, um, I can schedule that for you. All right. So this next one is Gothic minis. This is one that I showed last year and I still have not colored in it yet, but I don't have the grown up version of this. I don't think I like, I have, so there's like a full size, but this one's dark fantasy. So some of the images in this I think are also in here. Um, but like, look, look, that's cute. I like it a lot. So yeah, there are several things in here. There's another witchy one. That's really cute. Several things in here that I could color. Um, I just haven't gotten to that. And then this dark fantasy one. Oh, these are all by Selena Fennec, by the way. Sorry. Um, the pages are, I love, I love all of these. They're just so cool. Yeah, so I think a couple of these are in that that gothic one, but I like because some of the details are so um, intricate that it would be just way too hard to try to color um, some of that in that smaller size, that smaller format. So I'm happy to have this bigger book now. So there's those two. And then kind of the same thing for this Fedorables minis book, um, which I've kind of gone through and colored um, a few of these Halloween monster um, pages in this one, um, just because they're cute. Um, oh, there's a pumpkin. Oh, there's lots of pumpkins. There's five pumpkins on that page. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Hopefully I didn't miss any pumpkins in those other books. I don't think I did. Um, but yeah, so I have, oh, there's another one. So then I have the smaller one, but then I also have the big one. And I don't know if I'm going to be keeping this one. This one might be given to a kid or donated to somewhere. Because I don't really want to like recolor some of these ones that I've already colored. Like I've already colored that one. I don't really want to do it again, um, even though it's a bigger size. So... I might just stick with this, the mini on this and and donate that one somewhere. So it's kind of the reverse thing. Like these ones are, are cute. I mean, are large enough. Like the artwork is big enough that I can get in there and get the coloring done. And then I do have this also, this Fedorables Minis 2, which also has some really cute monsters um, and mythical creatures kind of mixed in. Um, so some of those would be kind of cute to color for Halloween too, probably. Like that one there, that's really cute. I don't think I have, I don't think I have any of like the monster monster ones done. Yeah, so I just have that fallen one. Um, but yeah, so like this one here with the, I, I don't know, bunyip and drop bear, that's what they're called, but I they kind of look monstery, that'd be cute. Um, so yeah, so Fedorables Minis too. Okay, and then I have, uh, the Halloween Coloring Book by Molly Harrison. This is one, this of, is my... one of my very first coloring books, and I, I have some in here, uh, pages in here where my daughter has colored as well. Um, but I have this one, which I really like. And then I don't know if I have 
I've just got a couple more in here. So I've got this one, which is one of my very first pages that I I did in this book. Well, it's the, the first page I did in this book, but one of my very first pages ever um, was from the 2016, so this is pretty old. So I have three more pumpkins here to count, too. Um, yeah, this one, I really like this book. There's another one my daughter did. Um... Oh, and two more pumpkins. Woo -woo. Um, this one I love. This one was one of my favorite pages I've ever done. I just really liked, um, I copied the colors straight from the front of the book. Um, really just tried to get those colors as close as I could. Um, and just love the way the sky turned out too. That was so neat. So, so yeah, so that's the Halloween coloring book. And then I also have Molly Harrison's Big Book of Halloween which I feel like I might have a colored page in here now. Um, I did mark several to color, um, but I don't know if I did any of them. Oh, I did do one. So there's that one. Um, I did use water mediums on this paper. It's very crinkly, but it's still pretty cute. Like it turned out all right. Uh, I don't think I did any other ones in here though. I do have, I do want to color more in this one too. Um, it's super cute. I do have one that I um, printed out as a PDF that's also in this book, but it's it is not currently with me. So I can't show you that one, but it doesn't have any pumpkins, I know for sure. So yeah, so there's that. So that's the Big Book of Halloween by Molly Harrison. Then we have a few from uh, Yana Prosferina. So the first one I have is Whimsical Halloween Darlings. Uh, I think I have one page finished in here, um, which is this one. And she has a pumpkin. It's pink, but it's still a pumpkin. <laughs> uh, she turned out really cute. I had fun doing that. Um, there's a couple started with skin tones. Oh, I have another one done. I forgot about that one. I uh, really like this one. I, I did a fun um, background with Distress Ink and a stencil and just really enjoyed it. Um, yeah. I like her darker skin tone. I thought that turned out really nice. Several more skin tones kind of throughout the book, but nothing, no other finished pages, I don't think. So that is Whimsical Darling's Halloween. Then I have Witch Season, which I'm not sure if I finished this page or not. I don't think I did. It's been a whip for a couple years now. <laughs> uh, I have this one. So as soon as I can get past whatever is stopping me, I will continue working on this. I think I did her skin and the cat, maybe. But, um, yeah, I haven't worked in this book at all besides that, unfortunately. So I really love this book. I love it, I love it, I love it. So that's Witch Season. Then I have Witch Magic. <laughs> I think I might have one finished in here. Um, but it's definitely not a fall themed page. Yeah, there we go. So I did that one. I just finished that recently. Um, yeah, so I like that one a lot. Witch Magic by Yana Prosferina. I have Moonlight Fantasy. This is a, um, a newer one for me, and I'm very excited to color in this. I really want to stick with, like, this color palette with these browns and oranges. And, like, I just love this, like, green and orange combo right here. I think it's so pretty. So, yeah, I'm really excited to color some of the, book, the pages in this because it's just beautiful. But this one's definitely going to come into my stack. Now all of these books are um, going to be spaced out over the next three months. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to get at least one done in most of them, especially the ones that haven't been touched yet. I'm really aiming for that. Um, okay. I have this one from, oh, I do have other Teresa Goodrich ones and I don't know where they are currently because I know I have other autumn ones by her. Huh? Well, they're somewhere. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't know where they're at. Uh, so this is Autumn Charm, uh, and I do have one finished page in here. 
I love this book. It's so pretty. I have two. So I have this one. This is the Thanksgiving one. So I have two pumpkins, right? Yeah. Um, really enjoyed coloring that. I thought that turned out really good. And then I did finish my front porch one. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more. Um, yeah, I really like the way that one ended up turning out too. I wish I would have done the these dark flowers a little more red than, than the purple, like the dark purple mums, but I think that turned out really pretty. Yeah, I don't I think I have the autumn scenes one. And those are the only two I have, but I don't I don't have anything colored in that one either. But I'll have to find that so I can lump it in with that this big old pile of books I have. All right, so this is Country Autumn from Jade Summer. I think these are all by um oh the one guy. I will try to put his name on screen because I know he's gone off on his own now to do some of his own um books but I can't remember his name right, right now um, but yeah so there's a lot of uh, landscape pages in the back here and then it switches over oh I've got one little pumpkin down there it's not a finished page but it's a finished pumpkin that works um, and then I have this one there's lots of pumpkins in this one two three four five six seven eight okay I really like the way this one turned out too. This one was all pencil. Turned out so pretty. Um, Joshua Dunbar. That's his name. <laughs> Don't have to put it on screen. Uh, I think this that's this is his book. Um, just really like this book. So cute. So yeah, there's Country Autumn. Then I have some from Camellia Angel Cova. So the first is 50 Autumn Mandalas. I don't know. I can't remember if I finished a page in here or not. I think I have one marked to color, but this is just such a sweet book. I really like it a lot. Yeah, I was going to color that one, but I did not get around to it. Um, yeah, so no finished pages in this one. I like that a lot. I like this book, 50 Autumn Mandalas. And then I have 50 autumn miniatures. I do have something finished in here. I don't think I've done anything in this since last year though. So it should just be the one. I have a lot of pages in here marked to color because there were so many in here that I thought were just so adorable. Uh, but that's the one I have finished. Um, hmm. Yep, that's it from that's it from that one. So that's 50 autumn miniatures. Now I did focus for Halloween. I did focus on Camellia Angel Cova. So I have several videos. Um, it's the 13 days of Camellia Angel Cova Halloween, <laughs> uh, on my video on my channel from last year. So there's 13 different videos featuring, um, 13 different pages from the next three books that you're going to see. And, um, so if you're interested, you can go back and watch that. I'm trying to plan out what I'm going to do this Halloween. I don't know if I'm going to do the same thing or do something a little bit different. So we'll see. But um, really like, I really like all the way the all the pages turned out. Um, this one was really fun because I found out that I can draw on top of this black background, and it just adds so much. Um, so there's one little pumpkin there. Um, so like for example, I've got I drew in some used a stencil and drew in some white clouds. Um, I used some ink and a grass stencil to make the grass down here. And I just really like the way that it turned out. I just think it's so fun. Um, so yeah, so there's that one. Let's see, I've got this one. Most of these are all alcohol markers with a, um, with Prismacolors probably as the colored pencil and then stickles or something shiny usually goes on it too because that's just too cute to pass that up this one i won't count that as a pumpkin even though i want to but like this one again i used a stencil for the clouds down here and for these bats and then added like stickles or glitter around the outside or glaze pen um i just think that's so fun it's just i love it just had a, I had a blast with these pages last year. Um, okay, I've got this one. 
And this one was really fun because I went through and I found a really nice um, Happy Halloween lettered on, on Pinterest and then tried my best to copy it. So that was fun. And then I could draw it on here. It just makes it, you know, look like it was printed on there or something. I just really liked it. I'm counting that as a pumpkin. Um, yeah, and then again, I drew in the trees and the grass bits down here. Um, these cute little mice. I'm counting that one as a pumpkin. <laughs> I really liked my cute little turquoise owl. Was that it on this one? I think it might be. Yeah, this book was so cute. I just had so much, I kept just having so much fun with it. Okay, and then 50 Halloween mandalas. I did color a couple in here. Um, so I did this one, which I really like. It's another pumpkin. Um, I don't know why I went with all pinks. I think I was maybe just tired of like all the darkness, <laughs> maybe, and I just wanted something different, and I just thought it was cute. So I have that guy. Lots of stickles on this one. I have that one. That one was done the previous, previously. This one was done last year, which I don't love the gel pen border. I wish I would have had different colors for that, but it's fine. It's good. It was fun. Ooh, this one has lots of pumpkins. Look at all those pumpkins. All right. Uh, and this one, again, was really fun. I really enjoyed doing the... Um, the outside of this with some distress ink and then like flicking some um some ink on there and I did I did get it on the opposite page so this whole page I'm gonna have to do something with the background on that but um not that big of a deal okay so we'll start we'll start here so one two three four five six seven eight nine super cute I really like this page I want to do more of these distress ink backgrounds like that it's just fun then I have this one. Ooh, that's another one. I think another eight. I like that one. And then I did this one too. This one has 10 pumpkins. Really loved this one. I love the red eyes on the tree and this turquoise into like dark, almost black color. Just, I don't know. I just really like it. I liked the fact that I did black grass and black pumpkins. Um, just really liked that color palette. I thought it was cool. Uh, and yeah, that's it for that one. So that's 50 Halloween mandalas. And then 50 Halloween fairy houses. I think I just have a couple in this one. I don't have very many in here. Yeah, so I have this one, which is just turned out so cute. These little monsters are adorable. They reminded me of Sully and um, Mike Wazowski. So that's what I did the, the colors as. Um... Yeah, just really liked that, the way that one turned out. And then this one, I'm not gonna count this house, but I will count these guys. There's two more. Um, these little cats, I thought they looked kind of like little gremlins at first when I started coloring them, but the longer I color them, I was like, okay, I can, I can deal with that. Just added in some smoke over top. This was just a fun, a fun page. I think that's it in this one yeah so that's 50 halloween fairy houses all right so then i have uh jade summer cute witches i still have not colored a page in this book which is just frustrating because it's so adorable my daughter has a couple that she started in here but i was like i just want to i need to color in it it's so cute i really really like it so this is uh, one of the ones that's definitely on my to-do. I'm going to have like, I'm going to have a huge focus on witches, I think, for a while. Because uh, I have so many darn witch, witch books. Uh, so I have Spooky Girl from Coco Wyo. I don't, I think I only have two um, colored in here. It's the same two that I had last year. I used this book as a sample for my How I Color Zombies page. Or How I Color Zombies um, video. This was one of the pages I did. Um, and oh, she's got a pumpkin. Um, and I really liked the way that this one turned out. And here's her spooky face. That's probably as spooky as I'll get on any of these. I just don't love that. And then I, this was the tester page. So 
There she is there too. So that's Spooky Girl by Coco Wyo. I also have Chibi Halloween, Chibi Girls Halloween. And I don't have any colored in this, but I have, look at all this ones I have marked to color. So I have a ton in here that I wanted to work on. Um, and I just never got back to them. These are all so stinking adorable though. I love them. So again, this is one that I'm going to try to try to get back to. So cute. Um, next what I have is Enchanted Halloween. Again, all these pages that I flagged to possibly color and nothing ever came of it. So unfortunately, I did not get anything done in this book last year. So we will try again this year. So that is Enchanted Halloween. Um, then I have Nice Little Town, Halloween in Witch Town. Again, I didn't color anything in this one last year either. I kept getting it out and kept like putting it aside to color in. And then I would look and would just, just couldn't. I don't know what it was about the book. I love the illustrations. I think they're so cute, but I just couldn't do it. So there's that one. And then I also have a Nice Little Town, Halloween. And I do have a few pages in here that are finished. I don't think there's anything new since last year. I don't think I worked in this one last year. Um, this is one of my favorite ones I've done. This guy is so creepy. Um, <laughs> There's another one that I finished. And another one. I was gonna do that one maybe, I guess. There's another one I finished. Another one I finished. Um, I really love this one with the Nightmare on Elm Street um, costume. That one really cracks me up. So that one might be one that I work on too. I'm really drawn to the ones that have the like the cute costumes. Um, and then I have uh, Eerie and Tangled Art. This one was new last year, and I don't have anything colored in this yet. But this is a really fun um, book, and I'm not usually into Zentangle books, but I saw this and I was like, "Ooh, I kind of like that." So I thought I'd get it and try it out um, and we'll see how it goes just because I think it's really cool. Yeah, I like it a lot. Uh, I like some of her other in, in, er, or her other Entangled books. So there's like Entangled Landscapes, Entangled Christmas, I think. I really like both of those. So, all right. So then I have a cute and creepy um, pop manga do not know if I have anything new in this. So this one um, is a color along on the channel if you're interested. Really cute little vampires here. Um, again, it looks like I've got several in here flagged to color. That one was a whip there. I love this. Um, yeah, that's another one I finished a while ago. Maybe I colored this one up front. Maybe that's what's flagged. Yeah, I did that little girl. She's cute. <laughs> she does look cute and creepy though, doesn't she? I love this book so much. I wanna work in it again. It's just adorable. Okay, so that's cute and creepy. All right, so now I'm gonna grab a few books that um, aren't necessarily fall themed. Um, but I usually pull them out during the fall anyway because they have really good pages in them. Um, the first one is 50 Farmers Miniatures because I love this book and I knew for sure that I had <laughs> um, some pumpkins colored in here. So I'm just going to flip through what I've got colored in here so far. Um, this book just, I fell in love with it when I got it. Um, and I started coloring in it, and then I started doing buddy colors with my lovely friend Megan. Um, and yeah, so that's been really helpful because I really want to finish this one day. I think it's just so cute. I love it so much. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do some, some fall ones um, in here for sure. So I have this one. So I have three pumpkins there. And then, which I just love this page. And then this one, uh, another pumpkin. 
This is my favorite little piggy. I like this bunny too. Um, and yeah, so yeah, there's definitely pages in here where I'm just going to make them fall pages, whether they're actually fall pages or not, um, because I love them so much. So like this one, I'm going to turn, make this so that it's like sunflowers and stuff. It's not necessarily fall, but close enough. Um, yeah, so cute. I just love this book. I love it. I love it. I love it. So that's 50 farmers miniatures. Then in romantic country, the second tale, I have um, a couple of pumpkins colored in this one on the Halloween page. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wow. Um, and I love this book. I pull out, I like to pull out the airy books and um, color either like the, she's got lots of witch pages in, in these romantic country ones, or you can also do just like fall ones depending on. Um, like the background and stuff like this one could just be a totally fall on all the trees and everything. Um, this one would be really beautiful. I've seen this done as a fall, um, setting and it's just gorgeous. Uh, so yeah. So I love to pull out the romantic country books and, and try to do some, some fall coloring with these. This one would be really pretty as fall stuff too. That one's a maybe. I always get really nervous when I try to do like reflections though. So I don't know how that would go, but um, I really love this page. So yeah, so any of my romantic country books, I'll probably be pulling out, but yeah, so I had, a, I knew I had some pumpkins in this one, so I wanted to count those. Then um, other books that I know for sure that I'll be coloring in this fall, I don't know if I have any pumpkins in this one though. Um, Seasons by Hannah Carlson. This one, she has several um, pages. So each of the, there's four sections in the book. Each section is started with these really pretty wreaths. Um, and uh, then like each page is kind of fall based, which I just thought this was, it's just such a beautiful book. Uh, I don't think I have any pumpkins colored though. So I have this one. This is a color along on the channel if you're interested. Uh, yeah, if I had finished my witch page, I would have had some pumpkins there. Oh, and this one I think is a color along as well. I think they both are. Um, yeah, and then there's the winter one starts. So just gorgeous. And I love to color a page in, um, in this section of the book each, each fall. So that's from Seasons. I have, um, this Tales from the Forest Kingdom, don't know if I have any pumpkins in this one. I'm not sure there are any pumpkins in this book, but I like to color this one because it's very forest heavy. So I just tend to gravitate towards the fall colors, even though I have a couple in here that aren't. But um, so there's the there's that one. That's definitely not fall colors. But most of the ones in here definitely make me think of fall. So so there's that one, which I really like. That one's definitely not fall. <laughs> But I saw the hearts, and so I colored it for Valentine's Day and wanted to have lovey colors. Uh, and then this one. This one is also a color along on the channel, if you're interested. Really love the way this turned out. I wanted it to be a transition from, like, fall into spring. Or spring, no, geez. Summer into fall. Goodness. Uh, but there's no pumpkins. So, yeah, I don't think there's any pumpkins in this one. But, yeah, all of this... Um, I would love to do just completely fall but I've already messed that up a little bit since I have those other ones in there but we'll see and then uh, Tales from the Witch's Cottage is another one and this one I know for sure I do have some um, pumpkins colored in but this is another book that is definitely uh, fall and it doesn't have to be but uh, this is one that I think of as fall and Halloween themed so here's the one I did, which I love this one so much. I love my my heirloom pumpkins that I um, found. I was just like, I just don't want to color a bunch of orange pumpkins. So what can I do? So I was like, are there pink pumpkins out there in the world? And I typed it in and it was like all of these different colors popped up. And I was like, I need all of those pumpkins in my life. So let's see. I'm going to count these guys just because they're on the edge, but they're still pumpkins. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Um, and that's it, I think. I think that's all of my um, my pumpkins. So let me count really quick. I didn't make it to 100, but I made it to 98. So I will try to keep like a tally of what um, how many pumpkins I color during the season. 
um, and we'll see. We'll see what that does to my total. But uh, this was a fun video to make. I love I love sharing all the fall books I have uh, with you guys anyway. Um, and this just was kind of a fun little extra thing to add in there. Yeah. So uh, I just really like really like sharing all of these with you guys. I'm I I normally do another video where I share books that um, you wouldn't necessarily think of as fall themed books but you can definitely find fall pages in there. I do have a video like that on the channel. If you're interested, I'll put it down in the description below. But um, really, it's just, it, you can change any picture that you want into fall, fall themed, just by changing the palette, the color palette. So, um, but yeah, some of my favorites are Hannah Carlson books, uh, Maria Trolley books, uh, the Airy Romantic Country books. Um, yeah, so those are definitely a few of my faves to to turn into fall pages. So, um, yeah, so that's really it for me today. Thank you guys so much for being here. I know it was a, a longer video. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, as we as we go through, I'll be counting, keeping track of the pumpkins I colored and keeping track of the um, books that I actually have a finished page in now. So I'm excited to to do some more pages. I'm just so excited to color for fall. That's really all it is. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for being here today and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.